This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and yes, it is a smart clock. This is the Lenovo Smart Clock, and it's a Google Assistant integrated device. Now, we review a lot of Lenovo laptops, and when they asked me to review this, I thought, eh, and I ended up actually loving it. We're going to look at it now. All right, so what is this thing? Obviously, we know it's a clock because it's called the Smart Clock, right? It has a four inch IPS touchscreen. It's 800 by 480 resolution, so it's not super duper high resolution. That four inch footprint and that kind of nice fabric covered design, it looks a lot like the Lenovo Smart Display we reviewed a while ago, works out really well on a nightstand. It's not humongous. It doesn't take up too much space because it will be beside your bed and you might be making nookie. There is a microphone slider switch so you can turn that off so you can have absolute complete peace of mind when you're getting jiggy with it. As you might guess, it has a variety of clock faces. I like the one that integrates the weather because here in Texas, we have pretty wild and wacky weather. And you can swipe over. You can get your news. You can get traffic and commute information. In fact, there's a good morning routine where once the alarm goes off, it can tell you what your first calendar appointments are, what your commute is going to be like, what the news headlines are from a variety of sources. It just starts playing them out loud. It has a speaker. It's a three watt speaker with two passive radiators, six watt maximum. And actually the sound on this is pretty good. It's not going to replace your home stereo system by any means, but it's perfectly pleasant to listen to the latest NPR news cast as you're getting ready in your morning. Because it's a Google Assistant integrated device, you can use your voice to do things like control the thermostat if you happen to have a smart thermostat that works with Google stuff. So that's pretty nice. You wake up at 3 a.m. in the winter and you're like, oh man, I'm really chilly. You don't have to get out of bed out from under the covers. You just tell it. I'm going to say, hey, George, so I don't set off everybody's Google devices who's watching this. So you just say, hey, George, raise, raise the thermostat one degree, for example. If you want to shut off the bed lights or you think you might have forgotten to shut off the kitchen lights, if you have smart GE lights, C lights, or if you have um, Philips Hue, that sort of thing, you can tell it from the comfort of your bed to shut those lights off. Or if it, you get up at the crack of dawn in the winter and it's still dark out, you can tell it to turn those lights on before you even get to the kitchen so you don't kill yourself on the way there. Yes, it can play music. You can play Google Play Music. You can play YouTube Music, Spotify, Pandora, and Deezer. What can't you do? Despite the fact that it has a display, you can't play videos on this or look at photos. Photos might be nice. I wouldn't mind a little mini photo slideshow, but then again, it's only a four inch screen. Not much impact there. For the videos part, I am happy that it doesn't have this because I'm trying to go to bed and not watch yet another YouTube video or whatever it is. And Let's face it, my smartphone screen is actually larger and higher resolution. If I really want to watch videos before I go to bed, this little guy isn't going to be the place to do it. But I think it's a very good unwind device. I really don't want a, a Google Nest Hub, for example, which costs $130, so you can get it for a lower price on sale. But I don't want all that much functionality beside my bed because I will never go to sleep. This thing is $79.99 and might be a little high for a smart alarm clock, even though it has a lot of functionality. But knowing Lenovo, there will be sales. At $59.99, I get a lot more excited by it. I have already found it indispensable. We, we do use a Google Home and Google Assistant products in the house. So I actually did want a satellite. Uh, the main Google Home is downstairs, so this one's upstairs. So in case I'm using an iPhone instead of an Android device on a given particular day, I still have something that is available and is listening to me so I can give commands when I'm upstairs too. Another thing I like is really excellent auto brightness control. This thing is really dim at night and you can still see it, which is good, but I've had so many clocks, smart clocks, not so smart clocks that were just too bright all the time and through my eyelids, I could see a little bit of light and it was disturbing, but they do have a sunrise feature. So 30 minutes before your alarm is set to go off, it can, if you like, automatically gradually raise the brightness. So kind of subconsciously, it actually is a little bit effective to kind of move you towards waking up before it happens. You can choose from a variety of alarm wake up sounds. You can actually set independent alarms so they can have different wake up tunes playing. They can have different volumes. They can have different snooze intervals. Speaking of snooze, if you wanted to, to stop ringing when the alarm goes off or snooze, you give it a whack, and I mean a whack. We're not talking a gentle tap because they don't want you to accidentally turn off your alarm. You give it a whack and you can, your choice of either kill the snooze or kill the alarm completely. There are volume control buttons up top. That's it for buttons. On the back, that's the microphone slider, like I said, for your privacy. And there's a USB port, so you can actually plug in your phone's charger or a wireless charger, whatever it is, into it as well, which is pretty convenient. 
It also uses its smarts to good effect. So if you want, it can help you and suggest an alarm time based on what your next appointment is the following morning. It looks at the time of day. So if it's the middle of the day, it figures maybe you want to take a little nap, for example, which is not an option that will show up at night. You get the idea. So overall, it kind of does everything I wanted and doesn't do the things that I don't want to be tempted by, like video playing and all that sort of thing. It does it really well. As an alarm clock that gets dim when it should get dim is bright during the day when the lights are on so it's still visible. It's great. A variety of alarm timers, easy to set with your voice. There's nothing worse than all these alarm clocks that are so complicated. You have to look at the manual every time you need to do something with them. Obviously, it automatically sets the time on internet time. You don't need a backup battery if the power goes out. As a result, it will just sync up the time when it boots back up. You've got all the things you can do with Google Assistant right there in the bedroom, which is pretty darn handy given the fact that most of us don't have Google Homes everywhere. So that's the Lenovo Smart Clock. And like I said, I really like it a lot. It is what it is. It doesn't try to be what it's not. And when it comes to something that's sitting at your bedside where you, you want automation but not too much distraction, this actually delivers pretty well. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more cool tech videos and thumbs up if you like this vid.